Today, we're going to view Stranger Things and physics in Stranger Things. And more specifically, we're going to focus on how Mr. Scott Clarks explains to Joyce how her magnets could be falling off her fridge. Let's get right into it. Is this again? This is a solenoid. It's a coil wrapped around a metallic core. And when electricity passes through it, it creates an electromagnetic field. Exact mundo. Let's talk about this first clip. We just saw Mr. Clark wrap a wire on a lunchbox and call it a solenoid. Is he correct? Yes. A solenoid is a wire that is wound up and can have current passing through it. It may also have a metal core, like he uses the lunchbox. Now, he said that it has electricity flowing through it. However, that is incorrect. Electricity is the flow of charge, while current is the rate at which charge flows. And that is important for creating an electromagnet like a solenoid. Now, he says that the solenoid creates an electromagnetic field. And this is correct because it is an electromagnet. And electromagnetic fields can be changed or enhanced or influenced by changing the magnetic field or changing the current flowing through the wire. Now for the fun part, shall we? So here we see the solenoid in action, attracting a magnet to its metal core. And this is accurate because the electromagnetic field will affect anything that is magnetized within its vicinity. Our very own Clark Byers electromagnetic field. Pretty neato, huh? Yeah. And this field affects any charged object in its vicinity. Let's talk about what Mr. Clark just said. Mr. Clark just said that their electromagnetic field is going to affect any charged object in its vicinity. Now, he's incorrect when he says this. I think that he is getting charged particles mixed up with charged objects because they are not the same thing. Now, their electromagnetic field is going to affect any charged particles any electric circuits, and any magnetic materials within its vicinity. Let's continue watching. Why is nothing happening? Well, because our field is stable. But if we reduce the current... How? The magnetic dipoles try to orient according to the field, but no, since no, no, it's no, I mean, How is this happening at my house? You want my honest opinion? Let's talk about our last and final clip. We just saw Mr. Clark decrease the current of the solenoid, and that caused the magnets to fall off his solenoid core. Now, this is accurate because like we said before, the electromagnetic field is going to be affected by a change in current or change in the magnetic field. And we also said that electromagnetic fields will affect any magnetized objects within its vicinity. He then goes on to talk about the magnetic dipoles being disrupted but gets caught off by Joyce, so I'm going to dive deeper into that. Now, Magnets have these spinning atoms within them, which are basically atoms that have a spinning charge. And this basically makes a magnet a magnet because these spinning charges become aligned or the spinning atoms become aligned. Now, when they get disrupted, your magnet is going to lose its magnet properties. And he disrupts it or a solenoid will disrupt it by having a change in the electromagnetic field. Overall, most of the clips that we reviewed were pretty accurate and they did follow uh, the laws of physics and everything that we know from physics too and you can go ahead and try to demagnetize a magnet yourself using a solenoid however it will only be temporary and only be within the electromagnetic field of your solenoid but it's all for fun and i hope you found this helpful